uproar. Frederick coming at you from the Bellagio. It is F1 Eve. And I did a daytime video, but let's do a nighttime video on actual F1 Eve. I got to walk back to Caesars, so we'll go check out the progress that's been made and go see the track lit up at night. And we'll do that right after this. Let's get to walking. I lowered the EVs so we can see the track a little bit. But this should be a fun walk. I just finished doing a live stream and a glorious 4K of the Bellagio Conservatory Christmas display. And let me tell you, it was freaking amazing. This year, I mean, I know I say it every year, amazing, amazing, yada, yada, yada. However, this year, in my opinion, and I'm a Christmas fanatic. Un it's the best, the best they've ever done. Not a doubt in my mind. You'll see, I'll put up the 4K video soon. This is so dark over here because of the tint here. See how they tinted this and reflectively tinted it? So you can't see nothing. And of course, not on this side. It is 420 up in here. F1, 420, does it go? <laughs> I don't think so. I think I might raise the brightness just a hair so you can see what what. All right, let's do it. No, maybe not. It'll get brighter as we get down there. I'll tell you, I heard a report last year they claim that F1 made them 1.1, uh, them, I mean the casinos, 1.1 billion. This year they're saying we'll be lucky if we hit a quarter of that, AKA 250 million. And I'm tending to believe that because uh, the town is dead. <laughs> The town, look at this traffic moving along just perfectly. No congestion. It's crazy. Tell you what. Last year, you'd be hard pressed to walk on F1 Eve down here at all. They haven't even finished putting up the, uh, the tarps yet. Better start burning some midnight oil. This is crazy. And I also did a video of me getting a drive on this track at 212 miles an hour. Go check that out. Link in the description. <laughs> that guy's Snapchatting his old lady or his side chick. Those are the generators to keep the lights going. But I'm glad to see the lights on. It's kind of cool. This walk usually takes like 10 minutes, plus or minus. More generators, more fossil fuel, if you believe in such things. <laughs> the fossil fuel lie. I like walking under these. Last year, you would not be able to walk under these, nor see the road but look how bright that is turning night into day and these little hatches here are for emergency personnel to be able to run out on the track see they got the fire extinguishers down there and everything that's to be able to run out on the track all right which way should we go Go the long way, yeah. Effect. Let's go the long way. What these are, I don't know. They're a little scary looking. But I think those are actually to heat up the track and you know smooth down the asphalt, problems like that. But I could be wrong. The town is looking nice though. 
Now it was a little, uh, a little tropic. What are you going to do? But nobody. And it is only, it's only 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock at night. It's not freaking 3 in the morning. It went down to 33 degrees last night. Vegas' weather hit the brakes like it saw a state trooper. But people are going to sit up there. They don't freeze their asses off. Track looking good, though. Well, the lights are looking good. There's still a snarl right in front of the Bellagio, and that's really been the only problem. Oh, someone's delivering girls direct to you. Just in time for F1. So you get to watch that on the quasi jumbotrons if you pay to get in there. Well, at least they put flowers out. Good enough. What up, doggo? That's Scott talking about. They got these cop things all over the place. Never a good sign. Yeah, let's keep it. Problematic. When I'm with you, Mother Daddy. <laughs> Alright, if you say so, bro. They still got the shitters everywhere. It is a beautiful night. Let me see what the weather is. According to my watch, which is, you know, plus or minus a few degrees because they take it from, I don't know, some weird place so they can bullshit about the real temperature. 44 degrees. AKA beautiful, in my opinion. All right, let's boogie down this way. I mean, this is just... Yikes, that there's no one here. See what I mean about this black tarp? They're gonna extend that all the way. Now, yes, you can kinda see things, and it's exhilarating, meow, 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 and they come ripping by, and you feel the power, all that horsepower, 1100, whatever. Yeah, they, they're not gonna let you do it. If you stand there and like, oh my God, I'm seeing the race, nope. National Guard, private security, and or Metro will tell you to move your ass along, because that ain't happening. They were flying helicopters over today that, uh, oh, Cybertruck, what up, Cybertruck? How would I say? Designed to detect radiation? That was today's jam radiation checks so they flew them i mean not at the very top of the hotels but just over the hotels up and down the strip seeing if there was any radiation that we should know about well they should know about whatever let me step back from here so you can see what the deal is see that you can see but you can't at the same time If I go like this, you can see, watch, raw. <laughs> but I'm standing on my tippy toes. Look at this, nobody, nobody is out. People basically said, F it, we're not coming to on this thing. Too much of a pain in the ass. I mean, if you're just a tourist and you wanted to come to Vegas, this is not what you expect, you know? fences and gates and blocked views and lights off and all the other shit. I get it. I get it. That's a pretty amazing sign, you gotta admit. Now stop at True Bar for a coffee. Best freaking, if they're even open, best coffee in town. And it's like, whoa! Yeah, they're closed. Oh, be quiet. Do the best damn car. That no one's ever gonna buy. That's one of those lucids. 
This place has the best coffee. Let me raise the EVs. There we go. Best damn coffee in town. It's like four bucks for an Americano. Can't go wrong. I love this place. I do live streams on Friday nights. I'm just sitting there. I call them a chill and chat. And we chill and we chat. Go figure. Very self-descriptive. I'm awesome like that. <laughs> <laughs> Simplicity is the key. Oh, that guy had too much Vegas. Shout out too much Vegas for you. This place is closed. This was a Mexican spot. But they gone now. Speaking of gone, I'm going to go get gone right now. But before I go, I'm going to invite you to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notified when I do this again, which is at least five times a week. Get everyone to support me. I got all the links. The holidays are coming. I got something for everyone. Guys, T. Shanley, get your look tight. And of course, all light flashlights, the best damn flashlights known to man. I got the Amazon links, but on top of all that, I have my own streaming platform, which is heybrorfrederick.com, where we can talk about all the things we can talk about here, including how to get healthy, wealthy, wise, and stay informed. That is my mission over there. And I love you guys. And on that note, for Frederick out. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.